Alright, what I've gone and done is I wet it, well actually after it dried completely, then I wet it. And I folded it over in preparation for gluing. I took my little stitching line pattern, put it on the inside and traced around it with my scratch all so I can see where the glue is going to go. Now the idea behind gluing it isn't that that's what's going to hold it. I mean, it'll help hold it. But it's the stitching that holds it all together. Now I got me a couple little spring clamps and a bunch of little scraps all ready to go. Um, these work too. As long as there's not too much stress on it, clothes pins will work. But now I'm going to go ahead and glue that edge. This is contact cement. In fact, let me show you. It's Tanner's Bond whoop, contact cement. And again, got it in my clamp. And we'll just put a little bead, not really a bead, just put it along the edges. Inside where I marked it for my stitch line. And then I'll hold it together while I work on it. You know, punch stitch holes and such. I'm getting low on glue. It's a good thing I got another can sitting up on my bench. Or on my, uh, on the shelf on my bench. Okay, and put some on the other side. There you go, it's just a nice, nice coat of glue on there on both sides. Now I'm going to leave this sit for a couple of minutes while the, uh, while the glue tacks up. And then we'll come back and we'll go ahead and put that together. I've given that some time to tack up. If I tack up, it just, what I mean is, it's not dry dry. It's just to the point where it just feels a little bit tacky And now we're going to stick it together Because I'll start at the top here or the bottom. I guess it don't matter Now you don't want to really mash it together Actually, that's pretty good. Well, what I was getting at is you don't want to really mash it together until you're sure you like the way it is that it's glued down satisfactorily take me a couple of scraps of leather because I don't want to mar it with clamps and I just stick a spring clamp on one end Stick a spring clamp on the other end. 
And in between here, I actually really don't need to pad these. But I will anyway. And then I'm going to leave that sit um, probably till tomorrow. But generally, I want to get a, give it a day or so to dry. You know, sometimes it seems like doing leather work, what takes the longest is waiting for stuff to dry. You know, like you dye the leather, wait for that to dry. Top coat leather, wait for that to dry. Glue it, wait for it to dry. Mold it, wait for it to dry. But anyway, I'm gonna just leave that sit and let it dry for a little while. And then the next step is gonna be to sand that edge. Let's see how well that comes out. See you next time.